Hello YouTubers and welcome to my channel. Today we will prepare a speedy version of everyone's favorite comfort food, pizza bread with halloumi. A crusty loaf of bread packed with lots of melting cheese and deli meat for the most scrumptious party delicacy. So, do you have 10 minutes? So let's begin. Uh, this is the best way actually to use a bread that is not so fresh. I have a stale bread here that is not good to consume for a bread, but it's very good to consume for a pizza. Now, what I have to do is actually to crisscross score my bread like this. I don't want my knife to go all the way down. Till this point, I will stop, okay? Now, we'll carry on the same way, as you can see carefully with a serrated knife and I will carry on from the other side. <laughs> Finito. Now, I will take a small ball to help me open these pockets of loveliness. This way all the pockets are open and are ready to add some loveliness in them. Now, I have a ketchup here or a barbecue sauce and I want to add some barbecue sauce in the middle. Now, done. Enough. Now it's time for a little bit butter because my bread is not so fresh. So I want to give some freshness. The butter, when uh, it's melting inside the oven, will give this freshness that we want. So I need some chunks of butter that I will add inside those lovely pockets. You want to invite all your friends to your house to show them that this is something unique and something so, so tasty that you made only in five minutes. Now, it's time for Mr. Halloumi. We love Halloumi and Halloumi give us the impression that actually we're using uh, chunks of uh, real meat like uh, chicken and uh, actually giving this special bite. Everybody loves Halloumi. So halloumi is something very important for the Greek cuisine. Now again, the same thing. I will take some bites. In this way, I will keep my bread open in the oven. Can you see that? Because halloumi cheese is not melting, it's keeping it safe inside the oven. So that is really helpful for me because I will make more crunchy surfaces everywhere. So I'm carrying on the same way. And it's time for Mr. Bacon. Take some bacon, some pancetta, some prosciutto, whatever you want, whatever you have in your fridge. And here I have some ham. You can use turkey, you can use ham, you can use pancetta, you can use prosciutto, you can use some parma ham, whatever you want. I think this should be enough. Here I have some mixed cheese that really melting inside the oven and I will top up everything with this lovely cheese. Make sure that the cheese will go inside in all pockets because cheese actually is buttery and will make the bread extremely sexy. Now, I think this is enough, okay? I'm not adding anything else except some herbs like thyme or basil or things you like. Do not add anything else. Take all the excess cheese and of course, put it on top. And let me add some thyme. Today is a cheat day, as I told you. Some thyme on top, maybe some basil, and it's time for the oven. For how long I'm going to bake, my friend Lakis? How long? It depends from the oven. Now my oven is at 200 degrees Celsius at the fan. I don't have to cook anything, everything is cooked. I want to melt the cheese, to melt the butter, to combine everything together. Actually, in 15 minutes, probably in 200 degrees, I will have a golden crust on top and everything melting inside, so it will be ready. In 15 to 20 minutes, we are eating. And my pizza bread with halloumi is ready. Look at this. What can I say about this bread? Huh? How can I describe this loveliness? Oh my God. It's heavy. Whoa. 
hot. I want to show you what's happening inside. Can you see that? The cheese is everywhere. The cheese is actually the basic ingredient for this recipe. You want to, it's like a monkey bread. You want to pick a little bit of everything and take it, taste it. Mm. And if you want to make it a little bit more fresh, lovely. I know that everybody right now you want from me to say bye bye guys, yes us, because they want to come over here and try it. Don't worry guys, in two minutes I'm off. The only thing I have to add to the very end is some freshness. So I have some tomato flesh. It's absolutely impressing. And with some tomato on top, you see that? And more fresh, you know, because, okay. Add a little bit of spring onion too, yeah. What do you think? comments under the, the video, subscribe to my channel, visit my website, follow on social media, try this recipe, send me some photos because I, I like watching the things that you are cooking and of course send me some photos because I want to check your cooking uh, creations uh, and of course to share them with my followers. Till next time, bye bye guys, yasas and let me enjoy this lovely bread. See that?